in the fifth and final season of the highly acclaimed award-winning series, Mayans MC. The Sons of Anarchy spinoff follows the strange relationship between brothers Easy and Angel Reyes as they come face to face with revenge, love, and murder oh. in an attempt to heal their fractured family. But the brothers are not the only ones in the thick mm. of some gritty drama. I was taking care of someone. I, well, we were taking care of each other. And I f***ed up. I f***ed up and now she's gone. And it's my fault. Ain't nobody here gonna feel sorry for you. You don't like the corner the world has put you in? Well, you fight like hell to get out of it. Fight like hell to make it right. Ooh, mm. honey. Actress, actress Lauren McKnight is set to debut her role on the series in tonight's new episode, and she's joining us right now to tell us all about it. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, y'all. You can't just, like, go from Project Runway to me in my freaking hoodie. Like, yes, we can. <laughs> can. Look at that. Nobody told me that. Nobody told us either. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Those two designers would say you are absolutely super gorgeous, fantastic, and fashion forward. Thanks for waking up with us. Okay, well, they, they'll, they can sell me anytime. <laughs> Listen, come on over to New York, and we'll all go together. <laughs> Happy birthday, you guys, by the way. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. One year on the map. That's right. Now, congratulations on this role. Thank you. Very exciting you. stuff. Yeah. What a hot show. Uh, now, before we get into mine, so we wanted to talk about Another notable role on your acting resume, you were Sky Rotter from My Super Psy Psycho My Sweet Super 16. My Super Psycho Sweet 16. Uh, you want to yeah. talk to us about being the daughter of a serial killer? <laughs> I'm all, you know, I mean, you know, uh, what is it? Fiction, it emulates real life. So my dad actually is a serial killer. Well, same thing, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, the super psychos were really, really, really fun to work on. Um, it's nice to be able to have the title of scream queen on my resume. Yes. yes. Um, it was a really tight knit family. I think it was MTV's first original movie. Look at me. Oh, look, uh -huh. at me. Uh -huh. look at you. Uh -huh. Look at you. Uh -huh. So different now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We I noticed. That. We noticed that. We wanted to ask you. So you wear all of your styles seamlessly and gorgeous. How do you weave in and out of this? Because it's also reflected in the roles you take. Um, you know, it's funny that you even say that because my role of Chip in Mayans uh, went on my Instagram. Heck I yeah. <laughs> uh, we're all over you. My role of Chip on um, on uh, Mayans was actually kind of wasn't even a real role they wrote it kind of around me elgin mm. james he, he said he wanted me in the show but he didn't know who i was going to be so as a, oh. a show goes on chip is kind of developed around my style and who i am as a person which is kind of cool but yeah everything you see on my instagram is all my styling it's all my outfits that i put together i like shape shifting i like uh, i like that uh being, being I'm an actor. Shape. i like being, being different people all you're the time. playing different that's roles right. on the screen and in real life but that's not just kind of a big deal that is a big deal yeah. to have a whole character created around you so talk take us all right let's go to mines and let's dive in take us uh, yes. back to the day that you found out that you were cast yeah. as chip and then you had that conversation with the director you know i'm not sure who you're going to be but we're going to build this character around you. We're going to figure it out. That must, uh, I mean, I, it's, it's an me interesting moment. call to get from your from your agent where it's like okay cool i'm i'm chip what are my lines yeah uh, we have no idea, TBD. no idea. <laughs> who, who am I? No idea. I'm like, all right, cool. When when should I be there? Right. <laughs> Let's figure it out. Now, is that nerve wracking for you as, at all? Or is it almost a little bit better oh, because it there's no pressure? It was really exciting, dude. Cause like this show is so punk rock. Oh yeah. In front of the camera and behind the camera. And this episode that's airing tonight too. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, written by Vivian Say who's on, on The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. uh, Elgin James, the showrunner himself, directed it. Um, I mean, I was there. I was, one of my first episodes that I was even on the show was directed by J.D. Pardo, who plays Easy, oh, right? Yes. That's right. Yes. And he, oh man, he has a huge career ahead of him as a director. I tell you, he's like, if, if, when Mayans ends, I would not be surprised to see a lot more directing stuff coming, like from him behind the camera, because he's good. Um, and the, that whole, that whole, 
uh, cast and crew is just such a tight knit family. Mm. And it's really fun coming in, even though it's the last season, it's like you feel that energy and it's just something that it's, it's electric. You, you want to be there. Mm -hmm. Definitely amps you up the way they film it too. It's so raw and yeah. real. Like, like it's kind of jarring. You just have these cameramen running around you. It kind of feels like reality TV a little oh bit gosh. because you just, it's just so raw and edgy. It's like an adrenaline trip. It does, and we were just it showing is. a clip where you, it looks like you threw rather seamlessly a television. An old television, like the big thick one. <laughs> the, that must have been heavy. Yeah, oh, like the girl, boob tube. I did that, yeah. I did that scene a lot, too. Quite yeah. a few times. I smashed so many TVs that day. Well, that's cathartic. I mean, I'd like to say I came away from it unscathed, but the next day I kind of felt it. Oh, my God. <laughs> the next day she got been gay. She's, She's like, like, what, what am I muscle. doing? I, I sign up for this role where I don't really know who, who the character is going to be. Next thing I know, I'm throwing television. I'm going to tell Television. <laughs> exactly. I mean, honestly, they were like, we, I didn't know what was going to happen from one episode to the next. So, I mean, it really was quite a surprise for me to even see how that, like, how the season played out. But I mean, one thing for sure is you're definitely going to see a lot more to come from the Broken Saints. We, go. Um, we do welcome an unexpected newcomer. I think you <gasps> kind of could figure out mm -hmm. who that is. Uh, and that little teaser there, but um, I would say buckle in because uh, these are the final three episodes of the final season of Mayans. So yes, it's gonna get real. It's, it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get more real Grab than it already is. Yeah, Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> so listen, we heard you like to take spontaneous trips. And we have a travel yes. expert coming on later on in the show. Any places on, on, on your bucket list that you still need to check out or, or wanna see? Cause we can ask them for you. Southeast Asia. Southeast Best Asia. Place in Southeast Asia. Yeah, but not just the touristy spots. Like I wanna I wanna find like the real places where you're gonna get the best food, best experiences. Let me know. Okay. I'm all you want the hidden gems, you wanna be in it. Uh, favorite yes. place that you have traveled? Costa Rica. Oh, oh my God. Pura I, Vida, I, Pura I Vida. I I love Costa Rica. Rica. Pura Vida. Vida, exactly. Without question, it was Costa Rica. The water was so warm there. I could surf kind of barely. Uh, it, was, it was just like picturesque and scenic, and I loved Costa Rica. I would definitely go again, 100%. All right, we are, uh, we are followers of astrology, and by we, I mean me. I've, I tried. I've taken her along for the ride. We understand you're a Libra. <laughs> Yes, I was gonna ask you guys a guess, but you already knew, I'm definitely Libra. Please, well, well, no, I only know because it's in the teleprompter, but if, if you gave me like three more minutes, I, I might have figured it out. Yeah. What's the misconception about uh, Libras that you may or may not possess? Like I'm a Cancer and I'm, people say you're not maternal at all and they're 100% right. Oh, I'm pretty much a Libra, true and true. <laughs> like I believe in balance. If something's not fair, mm -hmm. I will lose my mind. I'm also the, the life of the party and center of attention. I'm an attend, like I just can't help myself. <laughs> love it, love um, it, love it. I love friends, yes. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't think there's any Libra qualities that I don't resonate with, so. So she's a, she's a, a true and true. She's a, I'm she's, a Libra true and true. She's true and true, she likes things balanced. She's the life of the party. We experienced both of those things in this short I interview. I see all of this, Thank you yes. so much. Lauren, thank you, it was such a pleasure chatting with you. Hey, tune in to, tonight, guys, okay? That's there we right. Go. You, you, you did the job for us. You can watch, watch all new episodes of Mayans MC tonight, 10 p.m. on FX.